air pollution. It is caused by substances like carbon monoxide, oxides of nitrogen and sulfur, chlorofluorocarbons, smoke and so many other things. These substances contaminate the air and these are called air pollutants. So what are air pollutants? The substances that contaminate the air are called air pollutants. Now these air pollutants can come from a natural source or they can be emitted by human activities. Now natural sources like volcanic eruptions or forest fires, they all emit some pollutants and these sources are classified as natural sources of air pollutants. And pollutants which are emitted by factories, power plants, burning of firewood and dung cakes, all these pollutants are added to the atmosphere by human activities. Nowadays, if you must have noticed, every newspaper has news about a rise in the respiratory problem among children. Suppose if you go in your neighborhood and take a survey, you will find that there are many children suffering from respiratory disorders. And air pollution is the major cause of these respiratory disorders. The vehicles we use are the major reasons for the air pollution increasing in our atmosphere. Even if you consider the number of vehicles in our city, it is increasing rapidly day by day. If total number of vehicles registered in Delhi are lined up one after another, then the length of this line will be nearly equal to the combined length of the two longest rivers, Nile and Amazon. Isn't that crazy? These vehicles are the major sources of pollutants like carbon monoxide, oxides of nitrogen, smoke and so many other things. Now, incomplete combustion of petrol and diesel that we use as fuels for our vehicles result in the formation of carbon monoxide gas. Incomplete combustion means when these fuels are burned with less oxygen. So, they partially undergo burning. Now, Carbon monoxide, when we talk about, is a toxic gas, highly toxic gas. It causes many problems in human beings. Especially, it reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood. Now let us talk about winters. During winter, we see a thick fog-like layer in the atmosphere. This is called smog. Smog is made up of smoke and fog. Now, smoke contains oxides of nitrogen, which combine with fog and produces smog. Smog causes breathing difficulties like asthma, coughing and wheezing in children and many more things. Now, apart from vehicles, most of the industries are also major cause of air pollution. Sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide, all these toxic gases are majorly emitted by oil refineries. Also, sulfur dioxide is emitted when fuels like coal is burnt in power plants. These oxides are so dangerous that they cause respiratory problems and they can even cause permanent lung damage. You might also be aware about consequences that we face when we burn fossil fuels. They are also causing a lot of air pollution. Now let's talk about another major air pollutant that is CFC, chlorofluorocarbon. The CFC is used for refrigeration, air conditioners and aerosol sprays. But they are major problem to our ozone layer. You might be aware that ozone layer protects us from harmful UV rays of the sun. But using these CFCs, there are holes now in the ozone layer. But there is one good news that the scientists have found out a solution to this problem. Nowadays, CFCs are replaced by less harmful chemicals. Now, apart from so many gases that we've studied that are pollutants to the air, Automobiles which run on petrol and diesel also release some tiny particles in air. These tiny particles remain suspended in air for a long period of time. 
also certain industrial processes like steel making mining these also release these tiny particles now even power plants they release tiny ash particles in the atmosphere which pollute the atmosphere now these tiny particles which are suspended in the air can reduce the visibility and when inhaled they can cause many diseases so we have studied so many things about air pollution first of all we have studied what are air pollutants the substances that contaminate the air then we have learned that these air pollutants can either come from a natural source or they can be emitted by human activities and major air pollutants are carbon monoxide they are na oxides of nitrogen and sulfur smog cfcs and apart from these gases even the tiny particles which are suspended in the air and we have seen how these pollutants can be hazardous for our health